Hi everyone, Tracy here at ACR Technology. I'm going to show you how to change the cover on your T1X3, T1X2, and T1V2 tug models. So to do this, you're going to need to have a set of tools. Uh, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and you're going to need a long one, probably four to five inches long so that you can get into a screw that's uh, pretty deep in. Uh, you're going to need another Phillips uh, screwdriver that's a, a bigger tip on it. You're going to need a pair of cutters. You're going to need some uh, blue Loctite, so removable Loctite. It's uh, Loctite 242. I believe you can get this at Home Depot or, or any of your hardware stores. Uh, and then also a 564 Allen wrench. And, uh, and then some uh, small tie straps as well. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, now this is what you have to do if you're gonna remove the cover and you're gonna replace it with a new cover. If you've got a big scratch in it or something dented, you need to remove the cover. So I'm gonna open up the cover and now what I need to do first off is locate my board that has the wires for the, for the uh, lights the power on off switch button and the charger button so that's these right here so these wires are all going to come off with the cover so i'm going to go ahead and cut these tie straps zip ties right here and you got to be real careful you don't cut your other wires there when you're doing that so i'm going to take those and just cut that very carefully now i'm going to unplug these wires one at a time. And then pull them out of the plastic fingers here. Okay. Now what I need to do is cut these two tie straps on each side. One on the right side and one on the left side that's holding the wires up against the, uh, keep them from getting into the motors. Cutting those two, and then I'm going to cut these two. And once again, you want to be careful you're not going to cut the wires inside there. So now I should be able to pull these wires completely out of those tie straps. And like that. Okay. Now all I need to do is remove the set screws, loosen them. I've got a special little Allen wrench that I've taken and bent to be able to get into these Allen screws. These little set screws. And I'm going to loosen these about a half a turn. It's pretty tight, so you can get it with an Allen wrench that is not bent, but it might be tough. So now I'm going to get this one over here on this side. And this one, again, turn it about a half a turn. And then I'm going to remove my Phillips screw that's on the end and just back it up. So as soon as you remove this one, This side of the uh, cover could fall down, so you gotta support it. And now I'm gonna take this side off as well. And the cover is off. Okay, so if you've just taken your cover off, this is probably what it's going to look like. And we want to make sure that you got the set screws still in the holes here. There's one there, and then one over here. And then these brackets are still on, and we're going to remove those right now. So I'm going to take a big Phillips screwdriver and just remove all three of these screws on both brackets. And you'll notice they have Loctite on them and there's a little plastic spacer behind there. You want to make sure that you save that plastic spacer. 
So I'm going to take these off real quick. Plastic spacers are right here, three of them, and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now once you have the bracket off, you're going to take the one on the left side, and it's, it's the same bracket as the one on the right side, but you're going to put the tie strap in it a little bit differently on the left side than on the right side. So if you kind of orient it the way that it goes back onto the motor, and then you're going to put the tie strap in one of the holes, the top hole, and then come back out through the bottom hole and then pull it tight and then just barely start the end of it back into the, to the, uh, the clasp. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other hole. Go in and then I'm going to have it coming out the bottom hole and I want to have that clasp as close the bracket as possible and then just put the end in temporarily now I'm going to secure this back to the motor so I've got to get my screws ready and I'm going to put a spacer on each one of them this is kind of tricky you almost have to have four hands to be able to do it so I'm putting the spacers on each one of the screws and then I'm going to put just a dab of Loctite, blue Loctite, for removable Loctite on each screw. Now I'm going to screw this back into place on the gearbox. So I start one, start the other one, start that one. And then just go ahead and screw them all the way in. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, but this side is a little bit different. You're still going to have the bracket on the downside, but we're going to put the tie straps in again from the back going in and then coming out the bottom hole. We'll do that on the same on the other one. And then once again, I'm going to start the end of the cable or the tie strap to start it into the clasp. I just want to start it so that it won't come out because it's really hard to get it started once it's assembled. Okay, now once again, I'm going to put the screws in, put the spacers on, and you got to kind of hold it sideways so that the spacers don't fall off. Just a touch of Loctite, removable. So then we're going to take and put this side on, and you got to be careful that the bottom of this bracket is in front of this lid ledge here. If it's not, it's not going to go on all the way. So I'm going to put this bottom screw in here first and then put this one in, making sure that my bracket is in front of this bent bottom piece. And now I'll get this top piece, top screw started in here. Okay, now I'm gonna tighten them all up. And so once you have them both installed, you should be looking like this. You've got four tie straps with the ends of the tie straps sticking out. And uh, now you're ready to go ahead and put on the cover. Put the cover on. Now to do this, I'm gonna go ahead and put the screw in one hole on one side. And then I've got a long screwdriver a Phillips screwdriver I'm going to put up and now guide the screw straight into the hole. Now if I got the set screw too tight, it's going to be really hard to get this screw in here. So I'm going to have to adjust that set screw just a little bit by loosening it with the Allen wrench. So 
I'm just gonna back off. Oh, a turn. I'm gonna be on both sides. And retry now. And it should go in relatively easily. Seems like it's going in easier now, so I must have had it back off now. Good enough. other side the screw as well. I'm going to line this one up and it's a little tricky because I've got to get the screw into the hole and not let it fall down and then get my screwdriver in place and screw it in. I don't want these screws tight I'm gonna back them off a little bit so that they're a little loose. And then we're gonna tighten down the set screws with the Allen wrench. Now, I've got an Allen wrench here that I've bent around a little bit so it makes it easier to get to. You can do it without a bent Allen wrench, but it is easier if you bend it around kind of in that shape. So now I'm gonna go into the set screw or the Allen screw, little set screw, tighten it. Uh, that's tightening on to that screw I just put in. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. And now my screw should be pretty snug up. And then it's just a matter of running the wires. So the wires for the lights. I'm gonna come down for the right light first. I'm gonna come down through my loops. And then I'm gonna get the wire for my for my charger port going through the same loops. See, so if you do have lights, you need to make sure you get the lights through here and the power wire at the same time before you snug up those zip ties. Otherwise you're going to have to take it off and re put a zip tie on there. So let's get this in the right position. And I'm going to go ahead, before I tighten the zip ties, I'm going to go ahead and get the wires into place and even plugged in. That way I'll make sure that it's going to work. I'm going to pull it out far enough. And then the charging port plugs in right here. Okay, so that looks good. And then my wire for the light on this side. I'm going to feed it through into the little holder here as well. And then it's going to plug into that plug right there. Okay, so now it looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side real quick. I'm going to run the, the light wire through the zip ties. And once again, get everything in place before I think about tightening up the zip ties. This middle piece keeps the wires out of the motors. So now this light goes plugging into the other two two prong port over here this uh, motor wire is a little bit in the way so I'm going to kind of push it out of the way to get access and now I've got it in there okay now I'm going to put the on off switch wire through here as well fingers to hold it out of the motor 
and then the on off switch plugs in to the three wire connector right there so that's good so everything looks good i've got a loop coming from my power wire up i've got a loop coming from my um, charging port up and the uh, light cables are out of the way so now i'm going to snug up the zip ties so i'm going to pull that one tight Pull this one tight as well that's the way you want this side to look when it's all snugged up. Now I'm going to do this side over here as well. Might have to rearrange the wires a little bit. You want one on top and one on bottom. And it doesn't matter which one's on top or which one's on bottom as long as they're both as close as possible to the, to the uh, mounting bracket. Okay, now those are on there. And at this point, you can actually check and make sure that the power is working. I can turn on the power. And the light is on, on the on switch. You could check the charger. You can plug the charger and make sure that it's actually charging. Um, it looks like everything's working good here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the high straps. So you want to cut the excess tie strap off. And be careful you don't cut your wires. And then just a couple extra tie straps up here to hold these wires together. The charger wire, the two light wires, and the power wire. I strap those, make sure nothing looks like it could possibly get into the motors. Turn the motors a couple times to see. And uh, if you needed to add more tie straps here, you could. I'm gonna go ahead and add another one here. Uh, but it's kind of up to you on how much you think you need. And then I'm just gonna cut these extra wires. Close the top. We'll see. Make sure that everything lines up good with the magnets. It's lining up perfect. That's it.